I have um, the good fortune to have met millionaires in Mexico. The richest person I ever met was in Mexico. And it was uh, legit. They were legit. He had he married one of them. Stole my girlfriend. <laughs> one of them stole my girlfriend and shit. <laughs> hey. I think they're still happy, so more power to you. But no, the the most richest person that I, I met, I know, was a uh, Mexican in Mexico. But I've also met really rich Americans, too. And what I mean by that is rich is like, they own their own, you know, something that is a, a company that could be sold or traded for billions. How about that? Billions. B. And, the, and Or how about pharmaceutical company or some fucking merit? Anything that's like can be traded, that's when you get become like a billionaire. So I met a few of those. And the one thing they all have in common, they all, tr the, from their perspective, they treat the world as if <laughs> anybody can do what I did. Anybody can do what I did. But then you want to be known as the most extraordinary people. But you approach the world like I any one of you could do what I did. Then why aren't there a gazillion, bi bi why aren't there a hundred thousand million fucking billionaires? No, not everybody could do what you did, stupid. No, not everybody can be a fucking Dan Pena. Not everybody can be a Donald Trump. Not everybody could be the fucking little medics that I've met that are fucking not even close to their level. Not even fucking close. Not everybody can be that. Not everybody can be that. Is it possible? I mean, yeah, but some people are different. Some people are really good at making bracelets. And they're the best version of themselves using their hands making bracelets. And they'll get their own nice little apartment. And they'll marry a girl and raise a family and pass on and do the best they can. As long as they don't lie. And other people will be a Dan Pena or a Patrick Bet David or a fucking, not every, there can, there, you can't, not everybody could be those people. It's impossible. If we all, duh, think about, not Elon Musk. Come on, oh yeah, let's all be, let's all do better in school tomorrow and let's all be Elon Musks. <laughs> We're all gonna be driving fucking, if that was the case, dude, we would already been fucking, there's, there would have been 10,000 Marses already. 10,000 Marses. And the human race would probably be fucking flying pterodactyls and shit. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. Let's be real with this shit. The rich people, the people that have poder, que ten poder, ten poder, ten poder. Los ricos que ten poder, ten poder, ten poder. <laughs> you people that have power and shit. You guys can't think of the rest of the world like, ah, any of you guys could have done it if you wanted, but I did it, so fuck you. <laughs> you can't think that way, dude. You got to really understand, like, all right, I got a little bit of ching ching, and I got a little bit of bling bling, and I got a little bit of ting ting. So let me think. Let's collectively figure out as a people the best way to solve this shit. That's a good mentality. That's a good mentality. Not socialist. It's not socialist at all. What are you going to do when you die? When you fucking die, you have a hundred gazillion dollars in the bank and all it's doing is keep growing in your fucking name and now you have to pass the company on to the what? The next underboss that you pick? The underboss could be a fucking medic and lose it all tomorrow, dude. What if you... Okay, let's take for instance, Patrick Betuta Sexy. You become a gazillionaire. A gazillionaire, dude. Is that a number? And then you, you, you can only pass off so much to your kid if you want the vision to, to go on, right? Well, what if you pass it off to a, your underboss as a fucking marik, dude? What if you pass that vision of yours off to a marik and it all kaganisu? That's why while we're alive, it's better to think as a whole. And then they'll be like, oh my gosh, what he is pushing right now is the 666. Six, six. Oh my gosh, he is the Antichrist. Elon Musk is the Antichrist. Canelo is the Antichrist. Habib is the Antichrist. Who else is Antichrist out there? Anybody who wants to preach unity is an Antichrist in this world. That's how broken it is, dude. That's why I know. That's why I fucking know it's about time.